Hi guys. Good morning. <laughs> oh, sales energy is different. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you guys are familiar with um, how to say this, um, it's this is not a random talk. Okay. Um, how to say this? Oh uh, well, one. Okay. Before we start. Okay. This is a full moon in Sagittarius reading. If you are a f follower of Western, it's gonna be, of course, in Capricorn. However, I follow Vedic, sidereal astrology. And with the astrology that I follow, it's gonna be happening in Sagittarius. You don't have to be confused because I hope the mic is there. You don't have to be confused because, um, you know, just vibe with the energy. <laughs> so don't worry about the title. Why is it full moon in Sag? Uh, it's a full moon in Capricorn cell. It's happening in these degrees. Don't worry about that. There's more things to be worried than the information there. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so you're not wrong. Nobody's right. Nobody's wrong. Okay, just like a Sag. You know, with regards to wisdom and everything, you know, we welcome, you know, that's a, it's the higher wisdom, a guru, of course, okay. And this is just a, a special mo a full moon in Sag because um, majority of my, majority of my, well, I'm not sure my teaching, but if that's what they call it, um, you know, the, the energy that I share um, to the people who watch the channel, um, people who get an uh, answer in its most, um, how to say this, um, uh, how, uh, you know, the most wisdom is wisdomy part. Okay, that's because uh, that's my alignment with uh, with Jupiter. I have a lot. I have a strong, um, how do you call that placement? Okay, in Sagittarius, and at the same time, Jupiter. Okay, hence when I speak, it's different. You know, when I share something, I could be in a grocery store, and I'll be telling the person their life <laughs> and how to be able to manage through it without even me, um, how to say this, understanding what I'm talking about. <laughs> but it does help them. Like I, yesterday, I was, I was ha oh, um, if you guys want to timestamp, you can timestamp by the way. And if you guys don't like the first part, because this is just a special. So this is, you know, I rarely do a full moon, uh, a read, but, you know, I was meditating and I was very happy. I'm very happy. It means if I'm happy as a messenger who received messages, you know, <laughs> it means a lot of people are going to be happy, which I'm glad. <laughs> okay. That's what I like to feel. <laughs> okay. So, so that's that. Okay, yeah, so I was I was at Pilates and, um, you know, now Pilates is also a form of, uh, you know, for me, having an instructor that's a guru, very important that we have a guru in our life, like a mentor, you know, um, to, to guide us, you know. I know it's not a spiritual guide or whatever, but it's very important for us in our lifetime to have someone that we um, kind of like teaches us, you know, in a way, we, 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 we learn to obey, we learn to respect, we learn to follow, you know, because we're not all high and mighty, okay, so that's that part. Also, um, so that's, that's for some sharing, because then, you know, it's like I would be sharing, um, how to say this, I was, I was in the class, you know, I, I, it's, just a, it's a, it's a, it's a, um, how do you call it? it's a private class, or it's a personal, it's a personal class, I, I don't know, like, you know, it's a one-on-one -on -one class, okay, <laughs> so, and then, uh, you know, it's like we were just talking about, uh, I forgot, you know, I always talk about being B and not adding karma and just living, you know, living to what is the situation and da da da. Uh, and, you know, it's, like, it's a wonderful talk yesterday. So um, that's that. Like, I share a lot of my stuff randomly, which is for me, it's just like, okay, what I just tell this person and they're about to make their life a little a little bit different now, which is, I think sometimes it's fun. <laughs> okay. Anyhow, this is going to be for each of the zodiac. Okay. Um, so we're going to start with Aries. Okay. Aries. Let's see here. Aries. Let's see what's going on here. 
So I'm sending everybody wonderful, wonderful, exciting energy. That's what I'm feeling for you guys. Okay. And this is not the whole ah, Sal is so hippie. <laughs> no, it's not about me being <laughs> being that. No, nothing wrong with being hippie. You know, it's like um, I just know and I feel and you know in resonance. Um, I feel the energies are happy. And then everybody's gonna say, of course, also, um, you know, like my energy has shifted. If you know um more of your chart. It's it's not really the person. I'm still the same person. But if you're not on the same, you know, like, you know, like your zodiac kind of changes. I'm not going to go there. Every time you relocate, you move. Because there is uh, there's an ascendant planet that will be there or something like that. I can't explain it because I'm an astrologer. You have to, you know, research on yourself. But with regards to moving, with regards to relocating, your chart always changes. So, for example, I'm on vacation right now. Then my chart is different, you know. It's not LA vibe, you know. So that's why sometimes you probably like. It's like I, I, I like being in the East Coast because probably your chart is more for East Coast, and then you're gonna say, it's like, "I like being in the West Coast." Maybe your chart is more for that. But of course, you just don't do that. You study where you has to post to go. You, you know, it's like. But even though you don't study, also your guides will also show you the way. But you know, knowing astrology, the awareness. Well, maybe we should have a little more talk. Uh, the awareness that you have. It's the gift. So it's just there. It's almost like someone will give you a manual of your life. And if you have the time to read it, read it. If you don't, then you can just screw yourself. I'm kidding. <laughs> That's the sad. Oh, so you can read it. And then if you read it, then it's going to be good. You know, it's like you can you can pattern. You're like, oh, okay. So this is like an Ikea, um, you know, table manual. Don't do this. Don't do that. And, it, you know, you will have a fine table later on. Okay. So that's that. Okay, hello to my Swedish people. Okay, <laughs> I think uh, IKEA is from Sweden, right? I'm not sure. Switzerland? I don't know. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I talk about stuff randomly. Okay, so that's that. So for example, me, it's like right now, it's uh, it's not yet. Uh, I believe it's not yet um, Cancer season. Okay, not yet. I believe the sun is still in Gemini. Okay, in Vedic. Um, but I, I have to, you know, I have to return, well, you know, it's like, oh, you know, like I have different, um, I have different homes. Okay. So, um, fourth house is Cancerian. Okay. So here my, I'm going to talk about this now. It's going to be random. Um, it's like, you know, like you go back to your home. That's how I, that's how I deal with the energy so that you work with a planet, you know, it's cause you can always just do your nine to five. It's fine. If that's, you know, if that's, what's the calling. But if you're aware of your life, then chances are you will have uh, not easier. You will just feel more connected there. It doesn't mean it's easy. You just feel more connected. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, now this is, I thought this is a sweater. <laughs> See, I just I just put on the. How do you see this? I just put on the. I was meditating this morning, and then I just put on something, and then I walk my puppies. And then now I'm here. I'm gonna do start first from Aries. Okay. So Aries, here we go. We're just gonna do one card, okay? Energies for you for the full moon that you can work with until the next cycle. But the cycles are fast though, so you can work with this, you know, until you finished it. Don't pressure yourself with time. You know, it's something that maybe you can address. Okay. Aries. We have here judgment. So with judgment, you probably are facing big decisions in life and enlightenment enlightening decisions aries so it's the uh, maybe not well the universe is pushing you to make that judgment to make that decision okay so sorry about that of course when i pull the card of aries one of the strongest aries that i know is here so the card for you guys is judgment okay so like what i like what i was saying um, with regards to judgment, it's the perfect time to make that bold decision. Be bold, be great. Because the next is the world card. Great is not associated with spirituality. I understand that. But that's what they're telling me. It's okay to be great. It's okay to be bold. Sometimes we just have to release. It's a, it's a moon in, in Sag. I'm going to remove you guys from your boxes. Trust me. Because everything that you feel like you're in a box, the I, the religion, the spirituality, oh no, I'm, I'm not going to be vibing with that. I'm not. Basically, we're not in the rules right now here. We're all about connecting to your higher wisdom. The more you're there, the more it's going to be helping you. 
Okay? So do that, do that decision. It's a perfect time for you. And it's a major arcana. So a lot of things um, that you will have to be basically making that decision. Remember, don't pressure yourself. It's just like, you know, take it as how it is. The time that you want to make that decision, make that decision. It's just you giving you that awareness. We're going to switch this tarot to become an astrology soon. <laughs> Here we go. Now for the Taurus. Ooh. For the Taurus, we have here the Hermit. Another major arcana. Um, what you're seeking, Taurus, is already in front of you. It's not time for you. It's They're saying it's not time for you to, to be in recluse. It's time for you to be out there. And it's time for you to own what you have found. It's okay to own something. You know, you're gonna tell me, oh, it's not spiritual again. Again, it's not, it's a woman in such. I don't know what I'm talking about, all right? So, <laughs> I just get the message. So, it's okay to own it, to own what you have found. If it's a treasure, own the treasure, okay? The hermit will find its own treasure, and I think it's right in front of you. So, own it, okay? So, that's good. And it's, um, hermit is also about, of course, looking within. Um, Hermit is also about finding yourself. So if you are trying to find yourself, it's there. It was never lost. That's what they're saying for you, Taurus. Let me see here. For Gemini, for the Gemini is Page of Cups. Okay. In a sense, Page of Cups. Being lighthearted. And I feel here for the for for the Geminis, this is about sincerity. Um well, you know, it's like um, you being you. Don't be scared if you're vulnerable. Don't be scared. I know it's hard to be out there in a dog-eat-dog -dog world when there are things that are just really some dogs, okay? But it's okay to be yourself, to be sincere, and it's okay to be vulnerable, okay? That's for the Gemini. Let me see here. For the Cancerians. Oh, no, that's it. Because I don't, I like it to get it from Cancerian, Cancerians. There we go. Ah, oh, it's still the same. <laughs> so they're saying it's like you won't be wrong. So seven of wands, okay, Cancerians, especially Rahu going into Cancer. There's a lot of things coming. It is we're all affected. Okay, so don't be scared, Cancerians. This is the snakes. This is Rahu entering. Cancer, cancer. Now you have to look what is Rahu. Of course, I won't be able to explain it in this video. A lot of Vedic astrologer Google it, YouTube it. But this is about being prepared for what's coming, Cancerian. Don't be scared. It's about awareness. That's what they're saying. A lot of things will come your way, and it's important for you to understand that before it comes in your door front. Okay, Cancerians. Don't be scared. Okay. Those are the six snakes coming your way. The Hydra. Okay, let me see here. It's awareness. Cancer Leo. Here we go. Leo, here we go. Knight of Swords, here we go. For the Leos, we have the Knight of Swords. I feel here when you speak, okay, speak lightly of others and speak lightly of you. Meaning, don't be extra. <laughs> Not hating Leo. You know me. You know you know how we are here, Leo, right? So maybe we can tone it a little bit with our, the way we speak of others and the way we speak of us, Leos. That would help. That they're saying that would help people understand you and understand the majority of the Leo. Okay? That's what I'm seeing here for the Knight of Swords. Okay. So they will be able to understand you even more, okay, when you speak light, okay? Meaning less direct, more sweetie, okay? <laughs> so here we go. For the Virgos, Virgos, you have your Six of Cups, Virgos, and you guys are the half of the Zodiac. That's interesting because it's the Six card. Strong resonance probably of number Six. Virgos, you have to live like you're young. You're not old. Live young. That's what they're saying. The responsibilities that you have makes you feel that, oh my God, 
Am I like a freaking 75? If you're 75, props to you and you're watching me. Yeah, yay. <laughs> no, no shame in that. But I'm just saying, it's like, you are young at heart, young in spirit. It never ages. Responsibility ages, but your soul and heart is young. So live young, okay? Enjoy that extra dessert. It's okay, Virgo. Okay, let me see here for our Libras. Libra, Jupiter in Libra, Will of Fortune, it stays there to give you more and more and more. Tricky situation, make it stay. The blessings that you get, learn from it that you can keep it. It's like a lottery for you until October. So make sure you cash in that check, Libra. Whatever you're doing, it's going to be good. It's going to be big. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. Vedic, Sidereal, Jupiter in Libra. Okay? So that's why I'm pretty sure you guys are Libras. You tell me if you feel the luck because my mom is a Libra and she's lucky to have this. I'm kidding. <laughs> Okay, so that's our the Libra. Okay, wow, expect great things, Libra. Now here we go for the Scorpios, the little stingers. Here we go, little stingers. What we have for you guys, little stingers. Here we go. Temperance, of course, of course, Scorpios. Learn to work with others learn not i'm saying that you're not but i'm saying you can learn see right away you're gonna sting me there really that's another scorpio to another scorpio you're gonna sting me <laughs> temperance okay meet people halfway okay don't jump the gun and just keep stinging ow pow 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 no that's not gonna be good if they're meeting you halfway, it's okay. And if they don't meet you halfway, it's okay. Okay? Learn to be more cool, calm, and collected. That's temperance. And this is also you connecting with your spirit guides. Learn to connect with your spirit guides. And being ruled as the occult. Okay? In the eighth house. Learn to connect with your guides. Okay? Oh, this is special incense, by the way, guys. I'm using a lot of special um, this is a very special one also. I use everything special because it's a full moon in sage. Oh, not yet. Okay, so now let's see what's going on for the sages. Let's see what's going on for the sages. Full moon sages, sages. This is what you gotta work for. Work for. Here we go. Energies. Oh, guys are nervous. But this one. You have your oh, Sagis. Why are you going to be emotional? You have Debbie over here. Debbie's here, Sag. What's wrong? Maybe you need to talk about feelings. You have someone here. You have someone here. But maybe you're looking at the past and it's time not to look forward in the future. I understand that, you know, that Saturn entered your house. January, okay, sidereal, Vedic again, with all respect to people who watches this channel. You're feeling upset about love, but there is. See, people need to understand the duality of the tarot. Eh, all the cards has is good, has is down. What is good here, Sag? Tell me any other cards that does that has the two of cups as an extra. Nothing. No card has, besides the Two of Cups, the other card that will have the Two of Cups, besides the Two of Cups, is the Five of Cups. Now tell me that this is not something to look forward to. That you are just not seeing this. And this is what you're seeing right now. Release this. It's time to release our emotion and feelings and look towards what is here. It's just behind you, Sag. Okay? So let's see here. Everything has duality. That's the thing. So but don't be disappointed, Sag. It's there. See, that's the message there. It's there. You just need to look, turn around, and it's just behind you, Sag. Okay. Not the creeper though. Okay. Let me see here now. Capricorn. 
Cappies. Here we go. The Death Card Cappies. Major transformation. A lot of things ending. Um, I feel this is a pre, a prelude to to the next, you know, two and a half years for you guys. A prelude. You know, start making that big bold changes. Start making that big bold step of of ending cycles, toxic cycles, things that doesn't resonate with you. It's time to put an end to it, and it's time to be rebirth. It's time to be new. It's time to be the new you, Capricorn. Okay. Now let me see here from my Aquarians. Here we go, Aquarians. Aquarians. The Hermit card also. Hmm. Taurus got this. Aquarian too. Okay. So, for the Aquarians, it's time to share what you know. It's time to share what you love. It's okay to tell people you love someone, that you care for someone, or that you like someone, or whatever that is. It's not a, even though it's not a person, you know. It's like, Sal, I like having my hair red. Go out there, tell people. You know, put it in your face, Facebook, Facebook. Sal, I like eating this. Tell it, ex express it. I think it's more of expression, Aquarian. Maybe you don't express yourself much recently, so it's time to basically put a Madonna in it and express yourself. Okay, so let's see here what's going on for my Pisces, and then we're gonna wrap this up. Okay, for my Pisces, here we go. Pisces, Three of Pentacles. Okay, I see here Pisces. You either you will be facing a lot of new endeavors that will require a lot of your focus, a lot of your time, building something that will basically you're building your tower, not the bad tower that is going to fall off. Basically, you are now baking a new building. So you have experienced the tower before. Now you're in the process of building a new one. So... Maybe it's it's like having a new life again and but this time the foundation is strong because you have people that you're consulting with like you have better understanding on how to build this it can be career it can be love it can be relationship with friends relationship with family but i feel here it's rare building rare building okay so that's what's that's what i'm seeing for pisces now before i end this also i just want to let you guys know mars has been retrograde i think for the past two days okay so i'm not an astrologer so i wouldn't even know okay what's gonna happen or what is happening but i do have my fair small knowledge about it about mars and i'm just basically you know like, well as a as how i deal with the planets okay so how i deal with the planets especially in you know retrograde we all know it's re 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 right but besides the mars being retrograde i know my time is gonna be up um because this thing stops at a certain time um um, with Mars being retrograde, okay, it's very important for you guys to drink a lot of water. I do. <laughs> okay, that's one thing. Drink a lot of water. Okay, you are probably experiencing a lot. But of course, it's going to happen in different houses. I understand that. And I cannot just, I, I'm not going to give you guys a general whatever. But even that one alone. I'm pretty sure everyone needs water. And even this more time. I mean, this time even further. Okay, so drink a lot of water. That's very basic, but of course, it's, you know, our body is made of all this, you know, I don't know, 90% of water. So that would help you, um, you know, with Mars being in retrograde. Mars being in, uh, in retrograde also, um, if I were, uh, from, from what my knowledge is, of course, Mars being the fighter, you know, Mar Mars being the warrior. Mars, um, okay, and also Mars is, um, how do you say Mars is basically, you know, like, you know, like they finish, they accomplish, and, you know, if it's a war, they make sure that it's done, done, you know, it's like, so people might get impatient, you know, um, around you, so, you know, with tarot, it's about awareness also, with astrology, it's about being aware of what's happening, with awareness, um, then you can manage through it, so just always keep in mind, if someone, okay, is being a diva, 
than there being a Mars. <laughs> because that isn't called for, okay? <laughs> so you remove them and say, go away, you freakingly people. You don't know Mars is in retrograde. You are just being you know, irrational and, you know, you won't really, you know, like you're a person who don't know astrology. And I'm not talking to you because you don't know that Mars is affecting you right now. You know, so that's what you do. Okay, put them into a shade where it's like, yeah, you're moody because Mars is in retrograde. <laughs> so you tell them that. Okay, but sometimes people have their period also. So it's not Mars. Okay, that's like, it could be their moon cycle. Okay, it's not always Mars. Okay, let's not always blame the planet. Okay, and that's one thing also. Every time anything retrogrades, all okay, astrologer, okay, tarot reader, spiritual people, I have to say this yes, it is true, it's for all of us and even for my, myself. Right away, we blame the planet. But first, okay, we are the I, we belong with the one. Look within before you blame the planet. Chances are the reason why you're impatient and you were impatient at work because you didn't wake up. It wasn't about Mars. It was you not preparing for work. You understand me there? And all of a sudden, yeah, I'm, I'm very angry today, Sal, because I missed late. I, you know, it's like it was traffic. They're like, you know, it's always been traffic. You know, I know this is a rare transit because it hasn't happened for a long time. But you know, it was traffic. So don't blame the planet. Before we blame the planet, look within, and then chances are, majority of the time, it's really our own action. That is causing the disturbance in this whole wonderful universe. Okay. All right. So, before you blame Mars, okay, just letting you know. Well, anyhow, that is going to be just your special read for today for each zodiac. And I have to get back to work. I will see you guys again. Bye.